We are looking ahead to the college football season in 2024 here on Midwest Sportsnet, and it is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Scott Merchant, who is in his first season, heading into his first season as the head football coach for the Lawrence Tech Blue Devils. Coach, it's a privilege again to have you on and to get to visit about sports. I know we're it in springtime right now, but that goes back to say, hey, listen, you guys just finished up your spring football practices. Talk about that a little bit. Let's get right into football. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it and appreciate the opportunity to represent Lawrence Tech. Um, yeah, we, we just finished spring ball on um, Sunday afternoon. We had a beautiful 75 degree sunny, uh, sunny day here, which was not the norm during the spring. Um, so uh, we finished with about 64 players uh, on the roster, um, which, you know, we were happy that we were able to retain that many many players um, from the previous team. And um, we, we got nicked up a little bit. We, um, you know, we, we were a little thin there towards the end, but thought the, the effort and the attitude was great. And um, for us, it, I mean, the biggest thing was for us to get to know our own personnel. First time we've seen these guys on a football field or, or coached them to get to know them better figure out kind of what our strengths and weaknesses are and, you know, areas that we need to um, kind of highlight areas that we need to improve. Um, so that, that was a really important part of the spring for us. Coach, you'll be rebuilding or I guess building uh, an offense. It's a team that, that scored about 20 points per game last season. When you're building this offense uh, under your leadership, what's it going to look like this year? I think it's going to look a lot different. Um, we're, we're going to be a very multiple team with lots of different personnel packages. Um, and we're going to utilize as many kids as possible. Um, so, I mean, we could, we could easily go from 10 personnel to, you know, 21 personnel, 22 personnel. Um, so we're, we have a lot of variety in terms of our formations. Um, you know, as far as our, our scheme and things like that, obviously it's player dependent. Um, we're still figuring that out, but um, everything really starts up front. You know, the, the better you are up front, better chance you have of doing whatever you want to do offensively. So you know, we feel, you know, I think probably the brightest spot of the spring was the play of our offensive line. We have a lot of experience back there. Some, um, some really hardworking, tough, talented kids, and uh, we think we have some excellent depth there. And that was that was a, a real um, pleasure to see during the spring. When you talk about players that are there in the spring, I know you have some coming back, but uh, you, you were hired with enough time to really get involved in the recruiting for the spring, and uh, maybe not behind the eight ball there. You've had some opportunity to bring in some kids of your own. Talk about this class that's coming in. Sure. Yeah, we're ecstatic uh, about our class right now. We just had a recruiting meeting before we got on here. Um, I think we, uh, I think we've signed um, thirty-five kids at this point, and um, have another one um, waiting on the paperwork still, and we have a couple walk-ons. So we're we're up to thirty-eight student athletes in this class right now, which um, you know, my first day on campus was January 16th, so it it was a late start. Um, we feel really good that about the caliber of student athlete we've been able to bring in, and uh, especially with the with the limited time we had to recruit people and get the staff together and things like that. So, um, with the transition, you know, we lost some kids and we want to grow our numbers. So um, for us to be up near 40 at this point, we're, we're pretty happy with that. Coach, I know there's at least one player that's coming back from last year's team, and, and he was the lone member of the Blue Devils that was recognized first team on the all Mid East squad, and that was Vincent Robinson. And uh, not bad to bring that back. He's your kicker, big number 99. And... I would imagine that's that has to be some comfort level too. Last year's numbers alone missed just one kick over the course of the season. Twenty three for twenty three PAT, ten of eleven field goals. Uh, that that's got to be nice to bring someone back like that. Absolutely, you know. I mean, 
<clears throat> Nobody really appre appreciates specialists until um, until um, you know something goes wrong there. So we we feel very fortunate. We've got two really good long snappers. Um, Vinny's an outstanding kicker. He works extremely hard, um, not only you know at his craft on the field, but in the weight room. Um, and his his sidekick backup, um, Franco Bella, is also a very good kicker in his own right. Um, we also have our punter returning. So, you know, there's three phases to the game, as we all know, offense, defense, and special teams. Um, again, much like the offensive line, the, the, the specialist group on our team was, uh, was definitely another bright spot for us in the spring. And, you know, um, being able to know if we get the ball inside X yard line, it's pretty automatic. That helps in our play calling and knowing exactly, you know, where we have to get to so we can get some points. We're visiting now with Scott Merchant here on the summit as we preview the 2024 college football season. And coach, uh, again, privilege to have you on. Long time coach, you, you spent a little time in Division Three, spent 30 years as a high school coach there in Michigan and inducted into the MHS FCA Hall of Fame just a couple of years ago. So congratulations on that. It's, it's a privilege to get to visit with the Hall of Famer. And talk about that a little bit. Uh, after three decades on the high school level, what brought you back to the college ranks? Yeah. Um, so my, my coaching career started at Albion College and, um, you know, Albion, Michigan, Division Three school. I was fortunate enough to play there for Pete Schmidt, who's a legendary coach. Um, unfortunately passed away he um when he left albion he um was the offensive coordinator in indiana and um had a great experience with him i was fortunate enough he hired me on a part-time basis and then i ended up being a full-time coach um so i was there five years uh, was part of the 1994 national championship staff there and uh loved every minute of it and um just got to a point in my life where uh, was getting right, getting married, getting, starting a family, and decided um, I felt like I could, you know, have a positive impact on on student athletes in high school. And um, you know, I was a head coach for 24 years at the high school level, and I was an assistant for two. So I didn't I didn't hit 30 total in high school, but uh, yeah, my career overall is about 30, 31 years, and had a great run at UD Jesuit in Detroit. And then um, the last 15 years at Chippewa Valley where you know, we've been pretty successful and we won the highest division in the state of Michigan uh, state title back in 2018. So um, for me, uh, a lot of this had to do with my family and timing. Um, my children are getting older and um, I grew up in this area, Lawrence Tax, 10 miles from my house. Um, my wife's a high school teacher we didn't have to move our family and to be able to have the opportunity really to, to build a program from scratch. They've only been playing intercollegiately for five years now um, at a very good academic institution in a very good recruiting area on Metro Detroit. I uh, just checked all the boxes for me and thought it was an, an amazing opportunity. I, wish I was going to ask about that too. I mean, I, I would imagine, the recruiting area in where you are there in Southfield and just that, that Metro Detroit area. How big is that then? I mean, and having coached at the high school level very much recently, have you seen a lot of these players before? Yeah, that was one of the advantages for me this year. You know, we have, um, I think, 18 kids coming out of Macomb County, which is the conference I've been in in the last 15 years. So, um, over in that county so you know we have a nice mix on our staff of college veteran coaches and former high school head coaches and our connections amongst the uh, michigan high school football coaches uh, is strong and this is our home base we know many of the coaches and uh, programs in the area just from experience have a lot of relationships there um, those coaches have been great to us. They've really embraced us and, and helped us in the recruiting process, getting caught up. Um, so, uh, yeah, with the late start and not being able to, you know, obviously go out and hit the high schools and have camps and do all that, we really had to rely on 
you know, our connections with high school coaches in the area. And, you know, we're grateful for all the help they gave us. Coach, I, I don't want to neglect the defensive side of the ball, and I would ask about that too. Uh, if you, what, what have you found there that's already in the cupboard? Yeah, so um, we have a number of uh, senior defensive backs coming back that we're excited about. Um, and uh, I think we have multiple linebackers that started last year as well. Um, we're retooling the D-line a little bit, but um, – Kyle Nystrom is our defensive coordinator. Kyle used to be the head football coach at Northern Michigan prior to last year for six years. And he and I have known each other a long time. He was at Western back when I was at Albion. So we used to see each other there. And, um, you know, for us to get a coach of his caliber to run our defense, a guy who's, you know, been the D.C. at Fair State, he's been a position coach in, in the MAC. He was down at Texas Christian at one point as a linebacker coach. Um, I feel very confident like he's going to get the absolute most out of those kids on that side of the ball. Well, Coach, I know it, it probably seems like a long ways away, but I, I know also that the summer can go by pretty quickly, and September 7th is going to be knocking on our door very, very soon. It seems like that uh, just comes quicker and quicker all, all the time. You all start the season – with uh, Coach Mike Finnis' squad, uh, St. Xavier. Cougars coming to town there. And three of the first four games are at home. So I know you really can't preview the games right now, but at least uh, you look ahead and go, okay, well, we're, we're going to be at home to start the season. Yeah, that's uh, – and we have a great challenge with a, you know, a top 20 football program coming in here too to, to, to kick us off. So um, – I think it's great to open with a, a team of that caliber because you find out pretty quickly where you're at and where you need to be, um, win, lose, or draw. I've always enjoyed having tough openers. Um, not that I had any say in this one. It was set up for me. But, uh, um, you know, I, I think we're going to we're gonna find some things out real quick, and that's going to make us better as the season goes on. Um, we um, – you know, playing in our confidence, we know, you know, there's going to be at least two, three, possibly four teams coming out of our conference in the national playoffs every year. It's a multiple national championship program conference. So if we can get our program to the point where we're competitive within our own conference, um, they've proven that they can be competitive at the national level. And ultimately, you know, that's that's where we want to get to. Coach Scott Merchant, thank you so much for talking college football with me today. I look forward to it, and uh, again, the season about four months away, but it'll, it'll be here before we know it. Coach, thank you very much for taking time to us and being on the Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.